new setting, new beauty hags. Welcome to my new house. I love it. She's been here before, right? Okay, but that was just to relax into it and see, check out the house. And now she's here. I've got her here creating content. It's amazing. She's this house a, is lovely. She's had a sleepless night. Yeah. Because guess what? Arthur is teething. He's getting his molars. And they are... Big. Yeah. Like Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> Although, since he's been walking... He's lost a lot of his chub. Yeah, he will do. Because he's just and he's not eating that well at the moment because of his teeth. Because he's poor too. So yeah. he's just like he's losing the bit that I love most is behind his knee. Yeah. He's got like a little bit of fat that comes out on the side, like a little pocket. And it stores stuff in there, like bits of fluff and food and stuff. But that's sort of slimming off. I think he's gonna be one of those really tall, skinny kids. You do know you now need to send me a picture of that pocket of fat. Yeah, so I, I can will. Drop it I got in. it. Yeah, just before it like goes. Just before forever. it goes, yeah, yeah. And it starts running around everything. And it's also, can I just say the video you put up of him at soft play? I thought I was finished with soft play, but here I am for half an hour watching Arthur open and close doors. Oh my god, it was it went on for ages. That's what he loves to do. Yeah. He just loves to open a door and close a door. Then open the door. He'll either be an door. engineer or a kitchen fitter. <laughs> <laughs> Eva's handy. Eva's really handy. And we're going to need our kitchens doing at least once every, what, 10 years? Totally, completely. Yeah. I've, got I love your, them. I've got your kitchen company coming around next When week. are they coming? They're going to take all the doors off and spray paint it. I'll put the befores and afters up. I'm paying for it. It's not a freebie, by the way, but her kitchen looks so amazing before and after. Well, I thought they were coming last month. They're coming this month. Because they I'm have to... I'm going to put befores and afters up. Genuinely, I'm paying for it, but you should see Joe's before and afters. And then I found out that I bought a house with exactly, exactly the same kitchen that Joe had. So I'm basically going to copy Joe because she is the epitome of cool. Oh, I don't know about that. They might... Barrow and Ball fake downpipe with silver sort of chromium little bars. Very oh, yeah. nice. I've got gold on mine. Or yeah, gold. Because you're trendier bar. than me. No, I just don't. Like, silver looks doesn't look as good in my house because I've got all that mid-century stuff everywhere. It's true. it's true. One day we'll do a guided tour of her house versus mine. They're, Not they're, at the moment you they're won't. They're very different. <laughs> Not at the moment you won't because it's a real shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's actually talk about beauty products. Let's talk about the best budget buys that you've been using all summer long. Where are you going to start? Right. Start well, with that hair oil because you talked about it on the live and I hadn't seen it then. Tell me about this hair oil. Why do you love it and why does Dan hate it? Well, I bought this when we were in India. The okay. last time when I gave you COVID afterwards. <laughs> December 2019. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my God, look at the text on your phone. It's really Do you think that's that's massive. Yeah. That's our friend Victoria joining us. That is not that big. Honestly, it's really not that big. I mean, obviously, I am 15 years older than you. Yeah, so. but my eyesight's going. To, like, I said this morning that I've had. Rock and roll. The what? Morocco Mole. Is that what it is? It's a sort of sixties cartoon that was really short sighted because moles aren't supposed to see very well. You used to wear thick glasses like this. I'm Morocco Mole because they're in the dark. Aren't I they? know. I know. Um, Back to the hair roll. But I think either my eyesight's getting worse, or well, you are getting older. I know, but it is. She keeps telling me she thinks she's menopausal, perimenopausal. She's so not perimenopausal. It's just the change of the season. It goes from hot to cold outside, but she thinks it's eternal. It's really not. I was walking down the road the other day, getting really hot and really cold, taking my jacket on and off, going, I must tell this to Joe. She's not perimenopausal. It's just September. I know, but it is like, I feel hot now. But I have also got my period right now, so maybe then it, I'm not menopausal. Ooh, give me some estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to your hair oil, this is called Amla Hair Oil. She bought it in India, but somebody recommended it recently for you, didn't they? Yeah, because there's um, a girl that I know, um, she's a Pakistani girl, and she had the same sort of hair issues that I've had. And this is called Dabur Amla Hair Oil. Where do you get it from in the UK? You can buy it from, well, there's an, Avi there's an Ayurvedic doctor near where I live, um, and I got it from her initially, but it's on Amazon, I found out. Ooh. And I think it's like it's cheap. It's less than a tenner. And you only need a tiny it's, bit. You can of tell it. it's proper. It's not like a. It's not like one of those modern Sam McKnight hybrid oils that disappear to nothing and are almost watery. This is like a proper oil. Yeah, right? that's. So how not, do you use it? You're not going out after you've put that into your hair unless okay. you give it a good wash afterwards. So what I will do is I will just put use it two three times a week and then I'll just put like a, like a generous amount in my palm. And then, and this is what you've got to do with when your hair's bad, is that you've got to really make sure it gets onto the scalp. That's quite hard sometimes, because it, it, just like rubbing it on the top, it's not getting to the scalp, I need mm. to get it on the scalp. So I put it on the scalp, and then, do you know what I haven't... Move over, Michelle Obama. I forgot to ask you for um, a razor, because I thought you were I going like that, because I had really hairy armpits. I just got... <laughs> 
arm envy. <laughs> really cool muscle though. do you know what i haven't actually been working out i've gone so off of tracy anderson she, she yeah she's bought out a weird have you seen it, it? You saw it looks like it. a broom handle we went out for the night for kate moss's party and we spent the whole time talking about tracy anderson's uh thousand pounds how much is it it's what well, it's more than that it's called broom handle it's a fucking broom handle it looks like a broom handle. It performs like a broom and, handle. But the only thing is... It's it, not really a thousand pounds, is it? No, it is. Because it also comes with a, a box and some hand weights that are all made out of wood because it's sustainable. But it's a fucking broom handle. And uh, honestly, it's like she's having... Haven't we missed her? She, it's like she's really she's taking in. the piss. She's really... Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? And I've actually met her and she was very pleasant and very nice and very, very sweet. And I'm sure it's called La Mode, Let's which sounds like commode to me. <laughs> Let's just hope she's been badly advised. But it is on top of what I pay already. Oh, yeah. No, listen, there comes a point in some celebrities' life where you just think, it's like when they launch skincare, you just think, <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Are all those millions not enough? Do you know who's... Did is being a multi-millionaire not enough for you? No, it isn't. I know, I just the don't worst understand. Thing... People think that beauty is a quick fix, fast buck. And done properly, it's very hard to do. Ask Rihanna, because I really love what she's done with her brand. But if anybody else jumps on the skincare bandwagon, it's going to make me pull my already thin fringe out. There's no Which respect. Gonna, actually, let's be honest, this isn't going to take much. But there's no respect for the, no industry, respect for the industry, for or chemistry, the consumer. for science, or the consumer. Yeah, it's true. Back to your hair oil which costs 10 quid, you put it on at night, yeah. you sleep in it. Well, Dan no, I can't it. sleep on so it. So is it, is it also a contraception? Because Dan hates it. Yeah, I mean, I would not thought care? of it like that really before. Care. He said it smells like someone has died in our bedroom and their corpse has been allowed to rot for at least two weeks. And the only reason that someone knows that there's someone dead in our bedroom is because the smell has started to, like... I think it's quite floral. I it's a bit old lady is. floral. Yeah. What's the active ingredient, by the way? What are those green things at the bottom? So right I've there? looked up all of these things individually on okay. the um, on Google. the internet. On t -t -t yeah. So it's mainly amla oil. Yeah, which you is a used in Ayurvedic medicine. Ah. Oh. And it's but but it's and have you noticed any difference? Is to it stop just, shedding. Is it just conditioning or is it is it? It just makes like it just makes your hair really oily, which is why I obviously hate. But it. It feels like... But then you like... wash it out the next day and how's your hair the no, next day? No, I don't day? wash it out because I can't leave it on my pillows because it just stains the pillows with oh, oil. Oh, okay. Because it's green, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it's, and it's really oily. It's really So you're, you're, you're talking about loving this? Well, I think it feels like it's stopping the shedding or helping with the shedding. Also, can I just say, look how healthy this hair is at the back. Jo's beginning to morph into me. She's getting really healthy hair around the back, but the fringe is still breaking off. I look like Dave from bloody um, Gavin and Stacey. All right, Dave. Dave you know, like that. All right, I tell Dave. you what I look like. I look like the blonde one out of... Um... Wayne's World. Yeah, I'm like the blonde one from Wayne's World. Do you like it? Is it working? I don't like it, no. I don't like it, but I think but it's think working. It's working. Yeah, I tell it's you what not I, pleasant. I, I, I tell you what say. I have noticed, right? I have noticed that there are two things that make a difference with my hair. Bomb builders, without a doubt, make a difference to my hair. As long as you don't overuse them. them, right? No, no, you can't overuse them. Really? Yeah, and they're not like protein treatments. And, uh, and oils. I don't like oils on my face, but when my hair is really dry from here down, oils, oils, oils. I like the modern technology one, so I love the Sam at Night one, which has been delayed. But honestly, hand on heart, hand on heart, seriously, I love it. And when I get to be able to share it with you, I love it. But I've also opened my mind to the JVN oil and to the Living Proof oil. And my hair just loves oils. Mm. Loves oils in a way that my skin doesn't. But your hair doesn't shed, does it? No, it breaks off. Yeah, so I'm you don't shed, need I'm yours. Breaker. Yeah, whereas this is um, specifically for, or I have bought it specifically for shedding. Now, talking of shampoos, okay, Nizarol have got a daily or a regular use shampoo to prevent dandruff and i'm loving it and it works does it say oh. i absolutely you're not a dandruff person no but violet gets dandruff okay so do you use the actual nizer when she gets it which is ketoconazole so it used to be available on prescriptions now available over the counter well they've now bought out a daily prevent shampoo and i just absolutely love it I and there's enough brilliant. in that no i use t neutrogena oh, tea gel t gel i personally think nizer once a week well, especially she on gets an oily a young scalp. scalp yeah 
But <laughs> Nizoril is amazing. It's a ketoconazole because you're basically killing off. So you and I have the same fungus, but for some reason I'm allergic to it and Violet's allergic to it and you're not. So it's exactly the same fungus that we all have yeah, living all on bodies, our skin. Yeah. And that is now there. So the thing about Nizoril shampoo is it's brilliant, but it does strip your hair. This one doesn't, so you use this preventatively. In so that's going to be okay on your scalp as well? Yeah, love it. Okay, I'll get that for... But And where do we get that from? Oh, Boots, Superdrug. Because actually, uh, that Neutrogena tea thing Gel. is in Poundland at the moment. Is it? Mm. Talking of Poundland. Oh, yeah, because I went shopping in there the other day. Oh, we love a bit of Poundland. Honestly, I, I mean, it's so bad because I spend so many pounds in there when I go <laughs> in there. Cause I'm you just come like, out and you're like, where did I spend 30 quid? I know. <laughs> but I've got a lantern for the garden. <laughs> I've got spare bulbs just in case I need them. I've got dog treats. I really like aloe vera. Whenever I go on holiday abroad and there's an aloe plant you I chop it, it off and, use it. and I, fr um, I put it in the fridge or the freezer because you can't you have to like sort of freeze it first to get the smell off because otherwise it smells really funky but i get bitten a lot because i'm in the garden quite a lot with the baby and this is derma v10 I mean, do you reckon that's pronounced aloe vera gel from poundland so i guess it was it was a quid and I get, I don't know if you can see it, but this morning it was huge. There were two. Yeah, so I just shoved that on and it stops it itching. Okay. And I, I leave it on my bed at night just in case if I wake up and it's I'm starting really to itch, good. it's really unpleasant. But also I've get, I've been um, deadheading all of Dan's roses. <laughs> we both love a bit of deadheading, can I just say? It's very therapeutic. It's so, that's my definition of gardening. I remember Sam at night saying to you, wherever you move, don't get a really big garden. And I ended up with not a very big garden at all, but I love it. And basically, so there's too much hard work. And now I'm deadheading my tiny little three-side garden. Oh, it's so amazing. Tiny, but, yeah, I realise it is a lot of hard work. But anyway, you, if you get scratched, fun, isn't it? it's so much fun. But if you get scratched by a rose... It really hurts. It really it? hurts. And it can turn into, it can get infected really quickly and turn into like, damn, I had this massive lump there. So I just shoved that on. It just instantly stops the itching. It's the itching that I can't bear. I think I need to do a proper video deep dive into aloe vera and why it's good for your skin because I think it's really interesting because Garnier recently have launched a hyaluronic acid and aloe vera and I love it. And I Lovely new multi-acid from e.l.f. I really like e.l.f. e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, face. It's always a brilliant one. Whenever I have to do budget pieces for the times, I recommend it. And this is so nice. This is their brand new triple acid resurfacing serum, BHA, PHA. Do you know why I also particularly like them? Go on. They they've given so many things for beauty bags. They're absolutely brilliant and I really, it's really like nice that. I think it's a really nice one. It's got some triple acid complex, which they're not very clear on what that triple acid complex is. Let me go and get but my But it's glasses. for blemish prone skin. But I don't think it, I mean, it is technically for blemish prone skin, but I've been using it just to resurface my skin after summer and I love it. So it's salicylic acid, polyhydroxy acid, tranexamic acid. 8.5% triple has a tranexamic. Trans, transexamic what? Tranexamic. Tranexamic. <laughs> tranexamic. 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 Tranexamic acid is for pigmentation. Uh, not really proven for pigmentation, but anyway. Did it say um, salicylic acid salicylic for cleaning acid out the pores? Salicylic acid for clearing out the pores. And um, polyhydroxy acid is, is a, is a man-made, longer form of acid that's really gentle. It's a, um, yeah. I really like it. It's really reasonably priced. And it's not, and it's fragrance like free. I feel like we haven't done it justice because we've been too busy trying to read the packaging, but I will edit that out with us running around like looking for our goggles and trying to read packaging. Go on, what else have you got? You've tried loads of expensive mascaras recently and you've gone back to an old favourite. Yeah, I have. And I, you know, I bought the Is My French Mascara. You are such a sucker for that range. I just don't know who, who in their right mind would have bought into that imagery. It was really, really punchy. Really punchy. It is. I don't. I also, I just think that Pat McGrath's sort of done all of that stuff really yeah. already. But I like her, and I like her quirkiness, and I also the imagery for the mascara looked brilliant. It you was thirty-five like quid. No, I. It was thirty-five quid, which is a shitload of money for a, a mascara. Like it, it really is. Because actually, if you really love something, you want to keep buying it and buying it and buying it. Um, but it had one of those sort of, first of all, it has soft touch packaging mm -hmm. and it just gets filthy. It gets filthy. And it, like, it's really, such a really pity because I kind of want to love it. Oh, it looks amazing. Packaging, it looks amazing. So bad, but yeah. if you put it, like if you've even got a tiny bit of powder or something on your fingers. We've always got grubby nits, I've, I mean, and I am 
grubby as fuck. Like, I'm a real, like, I'm the sort of person that you don't want. No, I know that when you put your makeup on, you use your hands a lot, and then you'll get a little bit of mascara or liner on the next thing. You know, it's all over I know. your face. <laughs> like a sort of Victorian chimney sweep. <laughs> <laughs> or like my friend's two-year-old who discovered her <laughs> eyeliner pencil this morning, and she drawn on, like, moustaches and all sorts. Um, yeah, and it was so, and also the ball, it's got this sort of, like you know when someone the men have the cock rings with the ball on the end yeah. it's got that on it but Prince that was Albert. broken when it turned up i know it's it didn't good look enough. and it's not and for 35 i was pretty disappointed and it looked it looked good but it didn't look 35 quid good so what but you also you've tried a few other things recently so you tried uh you tried the gucci westman one why didn't you like that it, the brush doesn't have any kind of give to it and it's not it's quite stubby and, and you've got really nice long lashes, so technically you should be an easy self no, mascara. It's not like it's going to make them longer or thicker. You've got nice lashes, no, so it should I be couldn't. easy. That was really difficult. Like, but there's what some... else have you tried? So you've tried the Isamaya French, it's Gucci Maya, Westman. Gucci Westman. I can't get on with long con those mascaras at all. Really? I don't know why people rave about that like, hypnotize and stuff like that. Don't. I tell you what, I know loads of people that like them. I feel like they need breaking in. I can't be asked because they they overload the brush with product to begin with, and when you watch professional makeup artists use them, they, they wipe. always wipe them off. And when you spend that much money, I can't no, bring myself to do that. it. I'm definitely not doing that. I absolutely, which is why I love a L'Oreal Paris one because basically they're a bit like L'Oreal uh, Long Combat on a budget. I do love Benefit Bad Girl Bang, but it migrates within I, an hour but I've got i feel like you have a lot of migration with your mascara and i think it's because Greasy. you put yeah you put quite a lot of skincare and concealer around your eyes and we'll talk about your concealer in the next video but if you have an oil based or quite a rich creamy concealer your mascara will run but even when i try and use primers and stuff it still runs yeah. on me so what are you liking i just went back to full Max flash Factor. yeah i love it so there's Factor. two that i love there is 2,000 calorie. 2,000 calorie, which was the one that I used all through my teens and 20s. Yeah. Brown. There's a really nice brown one as well as a black one. Love that. I mean, I would put on seven coats of that. Do you know? No, I, I love Masterpiece Max and I feel like you can layer, 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 layer. I love it. And Force Lash Effect. Yeah. They're, I feel like they haven't changed. They haven't. And I really and they haven't hope needed they don't get discontinued. And also what Joe likes about it is that. So you've, you've got, got the gear. flexibility of a brush. It's so you can push static, it up. I like to yeah. be able to push it up and try and curl at the same time. Yeah. The only thing that's a little bit sad about at Max Factor is they just haven't moved on the look of the brand. No. You know, it just looks a bit like Revlon. And you know, Revlon's just gone bust. Has it actually? Yeah, Has it been bankrupt. announced? Well, yeah. It's like my friend Charlotte used to work for them, and she warned me that about that a couple of years ago. I think it's really sad. It is, but if you don't move something on, it becomes Woolworths, right? Yeah, I know. But when I think back to the Revlon I loved when it was the one that had all the inclusive images of Oprah and Liza Minnelli, and it was just so stunning, like twenty or thirty years ago. Yeah, but that ago. would have been because there was some visionary in house yeah. that was driving. It's the same with Gap. Do you remember when Gap was Missy Elliott yeah. and all those amazing dance sequences? Still the same company that own it. Can I just say, she is available for brand consultancy and that's what she does so well. <laughs> she's but, very expensive, but my God. Yeah, I am really expensive. Though. But you cannot go wrong with Max Factor for, um, mascara. I don't know, or L'Oreal mascara. But yeah. Max Factor is amazing. When I was just looking for your whole box, which is full of... Very, very expensive stuff. She was looking this for cheap, was, cheap I was looking for this she looks. She looks for the cheapos. Right, okay, I've got a couple of other things I want to mention. Can we discuss... I love this. I put it in the Times. I put it on this morning. It's basically the product that I've been telling you guys to go to America and buy. And it's basically CeraVe, but in a solid cleansing. Oh, it's got uh, a little package. I, I didn't know that. Look. Oh my god, that that feels so old school. Those slats. Look, hopery. Give give a piece of hope. Oh my god, oh, hell, her face is me more than some hope, oh, dear. <laughs> I need more of a miracle. miracle. <laughs> what I love about it is it's unfragranced. It's loaded with ceramides. It's loaded with humectants. It's loaded with emollients. It's not a soap, as I said to Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield on this morning. It's a solid cleansing bar. But I cannot, 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 no matter how much I try, convince Joe to use a solid cleansing bar. No. Why can't I convince you? I don't like soap mush. I like for the body, but for the face, I did buy a load of Dove the other day when I was in Poundland. And? 
the pink one it's really nice oh, no don't need the pink one you need the the missile what used to be the missile and is now the unscented solid yeah, cleansing I like bar the pink one but you can use it down below it's in the fragrance listen it doesn't matter what i put down there how much do so how much did arthur weigh i know a lot <laughs> Whereas mine's very sensitive. I can't <laughs> use anything fragrance, but I can use that and I can use the Dove one. I just really, really like it. I think it's better for the environment as well. I'm determined to try I to like body soaps. Her. I will. I'm determined I have to got try it. to convince you to use it. I have it. got it. I've okay. got it. But I didn't it I didn't get it with this situation, which and I actually do have very nice soap trays. You do, really yeah, nice. I know. And it shouldn't, if you keep it dry, it shouldn't go jelly. It's much, you're, you know, you're, it's really interesting. It's not me you, who has to clean I shit know. clean and dry. Go and watch the live with her and her husband, Dan. The conversation about um, tooth floss. It's disgusting. It, even when you think, okay, you think that she leads the perfect life. She's got the perfect handsome husband to listen to them. Well, in fact, she's bitching at him. He's basically just sitting there and sucking it up. And putting his like hand a up. Man, like a man and, should. And he doesn't ever Watch do it. any brilliant. of those I'll put things. the links below. He's... And I've got a final one. Have you tried the Garnier BB cream? Absolutely love it. No, but Completely I... Like, it was brilliant. the original. I know. It was the original. Beat. That I used, used to use that for years. Oh, I like the new packaging. It's really... So it's part of their Skin Actors range. And I've been using it over the summer. And it's essentially like a budget tinted moisturizer but it's been around for years so basically this is the new well their new version of the bb essentially a tinted hyaluronic yeah. acid and it's all i've used all summer and it's been so okay. easy to wear and essentially it's like a tinted moisturizer but available to everybody but they were the first people to launch look at that, a look bb at how, cream put the hand put your hand up and look at the difference it's gorgeous it's so nicely formulated it could come in more shades and be a little has, bit has it got inclusive. fragrance um, it's a little bit fragranced a little bit but not much doesn't bother no, me, actually, doesn't bother doesn't me bother with me. foundations they're our budget buys and that's nice a rant about celebrities launching skincare and uh what else did we uh, rant about dan jones his new book is amazing by the way you've got to tell me what you think when you finish reading it see essex dogs yeah Very and it's not about strange. me and my sister <laughs> she's from dagenham i hope you didn't know that no i'm right. not romford romford okay can I just say shout out to Jackie Scotchman? No. Oh. She keeps us apart because she knows that... That will be the end of me. You're the better version <laughs> of her. Definitely funnier. Next video we will be doing will be uh, things we love that are a little bit more high end. Yeah. That we've fallen in love with over the summer, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It was fun, right? It's good to have her back. We've missed her, right? Yeah. It's almost so as hot. if she's had a baby and I've hardly seen her. I've seen you loads though. We saw each other. We had dinner last week. Not in. A oh, <laughs> I need to put up that video of the Kate Moss launch because basically, I'll try and dig dig out some images of Kate dropping because she looked amazing. But obviously, we didn't hang around with her because why would she want to hang around with us? But they wouldn't let us out of the club, which I thought was very interesting. But also, it was the fun thing before about us getting in and then mucking about in lifts before. It's more fun behind the scenes. I really think Kate, you should befriend us and become the honorary hag. We need to get Sam to organise it, right? <laughs> anyway, she's back. She's better. She's brilliant. She's bigger than ever. We love her. Hi. Choo choo, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. I'll put all the details of all the products down below if I can find a Rob Skewer Poundland Strope Amazon things. Down below your sensitive. <laughs> oh, I'm so sensitive down below. Bye.